reach the island. Hi. I'm bored. I got home early, so I'm going to make a cab. This is that putty stuff I showed you in the last video. This is a turquoise bead. Turquoise, I mean. Bead I bought somewhere, probably at a bead shop. But it's drilled. It's got a hole. And I will never use it for anything. Um, I bought it because I thought it would make a good cab. But the hole on this side is, is too high. And... Um, yeah, I just didn't think it would work out. Plus, you know, I want to save it. <laughs> but the back is kind of flat, pretty flat here. The top is all, you know, rough and raw. It's got some white matrix in there and some black, I don't know, dirt. Who knows? But I'm going to make, um, try to make a cab out of this. So, I need some putty, uh, amount of putty that will fit this. So you grab about an equal amount of the uh, blue kind and the white kind. See if they're equal. They're not. I need a little more of this white. Now I got too much white. A little more blue, tiny bit more, and we're good. I'll mix these together, squish them together, and so there's no more streaks of white showing. You guys have probably seen this stuff before, but and it really works. I mean, it's awesome. But I am such an idiot. I paid. What did I pay for this? $14 for those two little tiny containers. And then I found almost the exact same stuff, except it's yellow and white. Like four times the size for 20 bucks. Ugh, so mad at myself. Okay. Are we mixed pretty well? You hear the bubbles popping in there. Keep the air out, too. All right. You roll it in a ball. Roll, roll, roll. You don't want too many creases or any creases. Good. Take your cab. Bumpy side or dome side down. Press it in there. I think I'm hitting the table. Build it up a little bit. And leave that alone for 10 minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, it's soup. So let's pull this out of here. See what we got. Ooh. Now, it did touch the table. Those two little holes. That is not going to be a problem. It just ain't. That can be smoothed out. Um, and pointed back up. Whatever you want to do however you want to fix that. Now, I've got a ball of polymer clay. It's really too big. Take some of this out of here. Yeah, it's getting cold again. So, get us. I actually prefer Primo because uh, it gets softer faster and it's stickier if you want to add uh, some inclusions in your clay. I like that stickiness to it, like foils or um, mica powders or um, transfers, whatever. Get another ball. <coughs> Push that down in there.
Yes, I know it's oozing over the side. I know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's see what we got. Aha! It looks just like my bead. All of these edges can be trimmed off, easily trimmed off, carved down. Bottom can be sanded. So when I trim that away, I'll be back. Plus I'm making dinner, I'm starving. Now I'm gonna color it, add some accents. I have a dark bronze and some black. And I'll put a little bit on the plate. Whoops, drop it. A sponge. Just like, you know, just a sponge. And I'll mix these to go together. And I got some paper towel here. worry about getting the bottom. You just want to get the top. Wipe it with a towel. Mm. Need more black. You get all in those nooks and crannies in there. Crooks and nannies. <laughs> and towel. Wipe. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And it looks like a stone I dug up out of the ground. I am liking it. good. Real nice. And you beat around that. You can beat around it. You can, uh, I don't know. There's no hole in it now if you want to string it, but I'm not a stringer, really. I'm a weaver, so, you know, you could add more color. Um, I thought I had some gold, but I don't. So, that's it. I also, I made one with a foil top. Oh, when it dries, seal it with some sealer, which I'll do later. You seal the foil ones too so it doesn't flake off and peel off. Um, yeah, kind of cute. So, that's how I do it. I've got a couple more in the oven that are baking that I made with uh, a round an oval mold. And I made this mold from was it from this one? About this size. Cabochon. Press down in there. Makes beautiful, beautiful cabs. So oh I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna sew this on. Hang on. Okay. This is just stiff craft felt that I bought at uh, Walmart. It's very thick. It acts just like Sally Stiff Stuff, but it is way cheaper. And I have painted it just some acrylic paint in black. So if you're going to bead on a substrate, um, other than fabric or you know, something like that, Sally's or this interfacing, this craft interfacing, you can paint it. Just water down your paint really, really well so it's not all stiff and plasticky. You want it nice and thin, real thin, and paint it. And you can put your objects on there and it looks so much better. You can glue them right down, they'll stay down and beat around them and you won't have any of that, you know, white. You can also dye this stuff. Just put it right in dye. Let it sit there for 30 minutes or so. Take it out, rinse it out, and you are good to go. 
but that's what I'm beating on right here. It's just going to be an embellishment or something. I don't know. One probably one of my unfinished projects <laughs> that will sit in a box because I don't know what to do with it. Like that. Okay, I'm thinking up how to create. I almost don't want to give it away, but I think it's going to be cute. How to make an iPod earbud case out of bead one. I have to design it. I've got it in my head. I haven't tried it in paper yet, but I think it'd be really cute and functional and fun and I guess the utilitarian in me is coming out because I want useful things all of a sudden. It's so pretty. I just love this. I just love it. Okay, have a great week! Bye!